Hi Scorpios, this is your weekly reading for November 25th. We're going to be looking into the energies of this week and any divine guidance or angelic guidance um, for Scorpios in particular, whether it's your sun, moon, or ascendant. On that note, please be sure to check all three signs, especially if this doesn't resonate. We tend to kind of align better with one more than another. So let's jump into it, Scorpios. How are you guys doing? That's my son. Happy birthday. Happy late birthday to um, all of you guys. We are now in Sagittarius, right? So happy late birthday to Scorpios. And let's just see, now that we're out of the retrograde, oh, what this week holds for you guys. So let's jump into it. So this upcoming week, November 25th, for the energy of Scorpio. Mmm, this is looking good, Scorps. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to get a clarity card for the Seven of Raphael over here. Mm. Okay. And the Chariot and the Magician. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of major arcanas here. Let's see. Clarity regarding the Chariot and the Magician. Okay, Scorpios, this is what I'm seeing. This is an incredible week for work, finances, planning. It's a great week for kind of moving forward with our vision for ourselves. Now, we do have the Chariot with the Magician. So a lot of Scorpios, a lot of us are... Buckling down in regards to our work, our business, um, our projects, our career in some way. We really are making really good strides. And a lot of it has to do because this is our vision. You've put in the hustle. You've put in the energy. But more importantly, you've put in like the vision for it. When you have the manifestation card, this is a co-creative card. It's a little different than the Empress. This is about successful beginnings, guys. This is a huge forward movement for work. And when you have the chariot, we're not just moving forward with new projects and plans and where we're moving forward and up. So you guys are getting public recognition. You've got your quality of your work is rising. Perhaps um, you're getting more clients, you're getting promotions, you're being acknowledged. Um, your following is increasing. You really guys are manifesting. So make sure you guys continue to focus on that bigger vision. Maybe you have a vision board, a list of goals, but you really are doing the work. Now with the chariot, this is about discipline, right? Investment. You put in the hours, you you sacrifice the time. Now with the three of Gabriel, this is also the three of wands. And what's beautiful is that because you've manifested, your ships are coming in, guys. Everything that you've been working towards so diligently and so hard are finally coming in. Now, there is a, a level of patience with this. You know, there are some success. Actually, no, I don't know any story that's like an overnight success. But the three of Gabriel's like, look at you're at the shore. You can see your ships pulling into dock. You just got to wait there patiently. You've done the work. You've put in the vision and the energy to create this. And what's beautiful about this is that you things are going to be so much more prosperous. And they're going to be so much better than you expected if you've taken the time to plan, to know the logistics, to have that long-term vision. And guys, this is incredible. I love the three. This is three of wands, traditional tarot. Now, the other card you had was the seven of Raphael. And this is really where I wanted to get clarity. Now, what I can see here is that Scorpios, a lot of you are moving forward with work. And you're being very successful as a result. But what I am seeing is that perhaps one of the reasons besides your own success is because you're distracting yourself emotionally. There's something here with the seven of Raphael. There's a level of toxicity in the body because we're in a limbo stage. Um, the Seven of Raphael, so all Scorpios, I highly suggest a chakra balancing and detox. Now, it doesn't have to cost you money. Go on YouTube, look for a chakra clearing meditation, chakra balancing meditation. Now, it's not just energy. The chakras correlate to physical, emotional, and psychological aspects of the body. So if you're feeling burnt out, your stomach is maybe you have been a little irritated, your back is hurting, you might even be having chronic headaches. It's because while you're hustling emotionally, there's some stagnancy. Work-wise, you're doing great, but maybe something in your emotional life has gotten you stressed out. You need to clear it out. Now, I've got some clarity cards here for you. We can see them here. 
a lot of this, the reason you're stagnant, honestly, the ego card is, is ego concerned. Your it's fears based on nothing substantial. You're like, well, what if this happens? What if that happens? What if, are you going to lose yourself? Do you lose who you are? No, you, you're worried about your identity. You're worried about, um, material wealth. You're worried about the physicality of this. When you think of the ego, the ego worries about, are am I popular? Am I loved? Am I accepted? Do I look good? Am I earning enough? Am, am I in high society? Do, am I wearing the newest Nikes? Um, I have a really hot partner. I, it's like the sense of security you're getting is false. It's, it's not real. It's not even sustainable. The king of water is telling you, Scorpio, you have done a lot of good work. This isn't you. This really isn't you. And the king of water is saying, as you're going through your day to day and as you're working, make sure you're coming from your heart. Make sure all the energy you're putting into everything, regardless of anybody else is doing half-ass, you aren't a half-ass person, Scorpio. You are an all or nothing person, ride or die. That's what I love about my Scorpios. If you ever want someone to have your back, an Aries or a Scorpio, but Scorpios are loyal to a fault, unless you did something bad, in which case run the other way. But you are a, a fierce, loving, loyal, trustworthy person. You have earned your right. You have learned your lessons. This is just a residual. This is just old fears. You're not trapped. You're not stuck. If, if you feel you are, it's because you're limiting yourself. If you feel held back, it's because you're, you're having self-doubts, feeling of low self-worth, low self-esteem, low self-confidence, really. And the way you might be picking it up is from false sense of security. So they're saying there needs to be this week some emotional clearing. You're doing fantastic, fantastic in the career realm. But if you want to keep moving, the as, as many of my clients have told me you guys many times, your career or your financial world will always, always, always mirror your emotional world. When one goes up, the other one goes up. When one goes down, the other one goes down. Period. Have you ever been in a really toxic relationship? I want you to look, look back to that toxic relationship and then look at your jobs. How was your work environment? Was it stuck? Was it such a hard a time to keep a job or to get a promotion or to move forward? It's a, uh, because it's worth. Self-worth, financial worth, the universe doesn't care. It just hears worth, how you see yourself. And you are moving up and out. So we need to clear out any emotional blockages with the seven of Raphael. Clear it out. Get clear. What? Not just what do you want. What do you need? What do you need? And go for it. Settle for no less. You deserve it. You offer, you give so much Scorpio, take no less, accept no less. And even if something looks good, that doesn't mean it's good for you. Just because something, oh, gives you a sense of, an example of this can be, we'll use relationships. You might have a partner, but you feel more lonely when you're around them. What? Oh, but just because you have somebody there. False sense. You might... Um, be working really hard to pay for this expensive car. Why? Because you want to feel like there's a sense of status. Well, who, who are we proving it to? You're just you're just having to work hard for something you don't really need. You know, it's false sense. Now, I want to get clarity over here. With the cherry two of water, like I said, the two of water has to do with your emotional world. So if there's something over here happening, guys, whether it's with a romantic partner or family, there is going to be positive resolution. Now, it could be positive resolution and you can move forward with that person. Or not, but the point is, is that there's going to be a healthy resolution. Well, even if you leave a toxic person, that's a healthy resolution for you. The world card tells me you have finished a cycle. You're freaking done, Scorpio. Whatever pattern emotionally that you know what I'm talking about too. Whatever emotional pattern you've recognized, you've recognized this months ago, maybe longer than that. And you're like, I'm done. I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm succeeding here. I know what I want. Um, and this is the only area perhaps that I'm being a little stuck in my emotional sphere. There is opportunity for healing this or finding resolution, but you have to understand there's now abuse. I'm not talking about that physical, mental, emotional, psychological. No, unacceptable. We need to develop healthy boundaries or release toxicity outside of that. The two of water is about two people getting closer together through understanding, compassion, forgiveness, and growth. There's a lesson here. Maybe you have to learn a compromise. Maybe there's something here that you already know. This is not something new to you, Scorpio. I'm not telling you anything new. You know what this is. But the world is you've done it. You've done such a good job. You've learned. And now you're stepping into it. Let's see if the universe has anything else to tell you here. Beautiful week of growth. Such an incredible work week, guys. So any other guidance for Scorpio? Unity. Ace of Fire. Ten of 
and a fire. Okay, the Unity card is um, the Hierophant in the traditional tarot. Um, so this is talking about, you really are building, so this can be marriage, weddings, traditional organizations, but you guys are working so hard to create a solid foundation in life. This can be, you know, you work so hard and you're like, I want to buy a home, I want to get married, um, I want to have a solid sense of security, someone or something to grow and build with. With the Ace of Fire, this is new opportunities. Now, again, this can, Ace of Fire, wands, their movement, they tend to be more creativity, activity, work in some way. Now, yeah, this can be a partner. This is partnerships. This is a card of partnerships, but this can be career partnerships, creative collaborations in some way. You're, I'm telling you guys, this is a work week. You guys actually might um, branch out. Even if, let's say, you, you want to start your own business or you have your own business, you might be collaborating with other people, other creatives, other businesses to really branch out and expand. They say um, millionaires have an, uh, an average of seven sources of income, right? So you guys might be building this empire, really building a solid traditional uh, foundation for your work. This is positive, you guys. Watch out though, ten of fire for burnout. There's just too much. A lot of wants, a lot of activities. Just watch out for that stress, and especially over here. You guys already need that detox, right? So this week, we on top of overworking, you, you guys want to get a cold? And I don't think so. Whenever we're overstressed, our immune system crashes. So make sure you are balanced this week. You 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 know you have a lot of things on your plate, but you list your priorities. You, and it's, if, I know it's really exciting. It's so exciting, and you want to say yes to everything. Just make sure you're getting the sleep, the decompression, not distraction, decompression, vitamins, food, not skipping meals. And and if there's really way too much, having that conversation that like, I have things to do, I'm happy to get to this, but maybe next week. Prioritize, Scorpio, prioritize. But this is an incredible week. I'm super excited for all of you. I hope this serves you. If you guys would like an extended reading, my link will be down below. Otherwise, have a beautiful week.